If you're new to hybrid plastics, you may find yourself asking, what is POS? POS is an acronym for polyhedral oligomeric silsesquioxane. While that is quite a mouthful, the name says it all. This means that a regular, three-dimensional shape is formed by a few units, each containing a silicon atom, one and a half oxygen atoms, and an organic group come together to form a molecule. Therefore, each silicon is bonded to three oxygen atoms and one organic group that may be inert or reactive. This combination of organic and inorganic components in one molecule gives POS unique hybrid properties unlike conventional inorganic fillers and organic modifiers. Components are typically added to a formulation to improve flow properties or product rigidity. Organic flow modifiers are highly compatible with polymers but have a low chemical stability and tend to plasticize the final product. Inorganics are stable and can strengthen the material, but are difficult to disperse and process. POS provides a melding of both inorganic and organic properties into a single molecule. In addition, by changing the organic group, POS can be tuned to the needs of your product. For example, inorganics like amorphous silica tend to have high densities, while organics are much less dense. By changing the size of the organic group, and therefore the organic character of the POS, a range of intermediate densities can be achieved. The size and shape of the POS cage can also affect properties. For example, with a very regular cage structure and small organic groups, this octamethyl POS agglomerates into a solid white powder. When the number of silicon atoms is increased from 8 to 12, a less regular cage structure is created. Less able to pack, the molecule exists as a grease. When a more flexible organic group, such as the ether group shown here, is added to the structure, the product exists as a viscous liquid. When blending other materials with polymers, it is often important to match the refractive indices to avoid making a hazy or opaque product. By changing the R groups on POS, the refractive index can be varied within the range of polymeric materials. But if domains are smaller than the wavelength of light, clear materials may be produced without matching refractive indices. When POS is melt blended with polymers, it may phase separate if the R groups are not compatible with the polymer matrix. This leads to an opaque or hazy final product. As the POS molecule becomes more compatible with the polymer, the domains become smaller until a fully compatible molecule is found, becomes completely dispersed, and a clear, strong material is created. Like other inorganics, POS can lower surface energy through nanoscopic roughness, also known as the Lotus effect. Due to the polar groups in nylon, it has a high surface energy. As POS is melt blended into nylon, the surface energy decreases significantly. Until at 10% POS, the nylon has a surface energy nearly the same as Teflon. By replacing one of the silicon atoms, other inorganics may be incorporated into the POS cage to create POMs, or polyhedral oligomeric metallosilsesquioxanes. Many different elements have been incorporated into the POMs cage, and have uses ranging from catalysis to optical materials and radiation shielding. By incorporating reactive groups, POS can be used for copolymerization. Whether you want to use a condensation reaction to end cap or graft POS to an existing polymer, or use POS as a co-monomer in an addition reaction, attaching POS to your polymer leads to reinforcement through bottom-up self-assembly. When more than one of the R groups is made reactive, POS can be used as a cross-linker or a dendromer core. These are just a few of the ways that POS can be used to improve your products. You can find more information including a user's guide and a catalog at our website. Interested in trying POS but aren't sure how? Contact us. We have a dedicated technical staff ready to help you.